The house burning in the viral video is not my house. Joe Ibukui clarifies. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Nigerian politician Joe Ibukwe made clarifications concerning the viral video of a burning building alleged to be his property. Ibukwe provided more clarity and details on the issue during his written interview on TVC News. The house and attacks and criminal the rising attacks and criminal activities in the southeastern part of the country has raised concerns among the leaders and residents of the affected region. Recently, unknown armed men reportedly attacked the building of Joe Ibokwe in Newi, Anambra State. Ibokwe is a chieftain of All Progressive Congress APC and a government official in Lagos State. Ibokwe is popularly known for being vocal in the support for the government and his political party. Revealing details of how he discovered the attack on his property, Joe Ibokwe said, I was not in Newi when the attack took place. I was in Lagos and I am still in Lagos State. My neighbor in the area called to inform me of strange movement in my house. I investigated the information, but I discovered that the assailant had left. However, I saw the video footage of the attack and they touched my house. Speaking concerning the burning view in the viral video, Ibukwe said, my house is not the one burning in this video. I learned that the house in this video belongs to a former Nigerian minister for economic planning and budget. The house and the video were set on fire. In another part of Newi, the attack has set fire to various buildings across the state. While um, we keep saying that the insecurity and the destruction of life, lives and the destruction of property, I beg your pardon, and taking of lives is bad, we are going also going to we are also going to say that raising false alarm was bad. According to news, it was said that um, Joe Ibukwe said his house was burnt down and now we are hearing why. We do not leave this kind of um, child's plea. A lot is actually going on. People are really, really actually being killed and destruction of property is done as well. I do not know why Joe Ibukwe keeps making himself a subject of ridicule every time he opens his mouth to speak. I keep asking myself if that is exactly... if um. He has so much time on his hands rather than face the work that was given to him by the Lagos State government. We have people really, really crying for, for security reasons in the southeastern region. And you are coming and you are portioning blames. You just say things without, make, without, without getting first-hand information. For somebody who is learned, I say again, it is very, very shameful. Sincerely. These are not the type of distraction we need. Like I said earlier before, People are really actually suffering. People are dying. This unknown gunman and uh, the attacks, it has touched people in such a way that they will never forget. So people's lives have been affected already. And you're here raising false alarm. You keep pointing fingers. You keep seeking attention. And when the attention is given to you, you raise false alarm. This is not the type of... Uh, 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 the type of, um, this is not a child's play, rather. It's not a child's play. You coming out to say that your house was burnt, and all of a sudden you are coming to say that your house is, no, is not burnt. I do not understand. You should make your investigations well before coming out to say that your house was burnt. Now, people, what do we do concerning this issue? Those involved should please hesitate from such. No matter how difficult it seems, no matter how, it, it feels, um, no matter, no matter. Joe Ibokwe, if it is not your house, why accusing Ipo? Please find a way to apologize to them because this accusation has reminded them that they need to do so. All this, so all this marginalization against the Ibo people, does it mean that you don't see it? Exactly, against your own people. Does it mean that you don't see it or you have become so self-centered that it has blinded and deafened your, your, your ability to see and hear things as they really are. Are you saying things as, as, as you want to see them or as they really are? Does it mean all this marginalization against Igbo people, does it mean you do not see it? Even when other regions have six states, only your people have five states, military or civilian. No Igbo man has ruled Nigeria since 40 years. Joe, don't blame your brothers. It's an act of anger, which we do not condone. It is not to be tolerated. The Igbo see themselves in Nigeria. 
The Igbo themselves in Nigeria have nothing to write home about. This Igbo generation that fought civil war, most of them are dead today. We are a new generation of Igbo and we want to we put it to you that we must not let what our father suffered in Nigeria befall us. My father gave birth to me that I must be greater than him, not otherwise. I can tell you Igbo population, I think, is more bigger than any other ethnic in Nigeria right now. Okay, while um, we are going to disagree with some of this uh, uh, statement, some of them, it's, can't, is there any human, even other tribes, even other tribes are saying this particular people called the Southeasterners or the Easterners themselves, that they have really tried that at least people should give them a chance. And I keep saying, these people that are doing, that are agitating, that are doing this agitation now, these people want nothing more than fairness, equity, tranquility. I am on the same level with you. I am a civilian, you are a civilian. It does not matter where, which part of, which region of the country you are from. What matters is, I am a civilian and you are a civilian. That is what matters. Not the fact that uh, I, I have somebody who is in government and is my brother. And so when an appointment comes because he's my brother, whether he merits it or not, I just want to give him the contract to compensate. No. No. That is what is causing these things. And I keep saying, the kind of person that will even rescue Nigeria. is not somebody that will say, okay, eh... Uh, the, the Fulanis have done this and this against my people. I am supposed to allow them to feel the heat a little. Let them see how it feels. No. We need somebody that is going to become and be, be on neutral ground. Somebody that will come and tribalism will be a thing of the past. It will be history. Ethnicism will be history. Religion will be history. Why? Because the person is ready to get to work. The person is ready for a wonderful and a new Nigeria. It is going to be like the breaking of a new dawn. Not somebody who will come and, okay, um, they have dubbed this to my brother. I need to fight. But no, with that, we are going to go nowhere. We are going to keep stunting. We are going to keep stagnating ourselves. Now, this particular issue now of Joey Wuku raising for Salam, what does he think? As a politician, he's even supposed to be careful. One thing I'm going to say is, so far there is insecurity, there will always be crime. Why? Anybody can hide under the under IPOB, anybody can hide under um Yoruba Nation, anybody can hide under so many things, whether the Boko Haram, under terrorists, over unknown God, anybody can hide this under those things and commit a crime. And the person would not be held responsible. In fact, the crime is going to be difficult to trace. Now at this point in time where there's so much bruhaha and you get to know that something is why don't you calm down and keep these things in your heart? Okay, what if some, somebody tomorrow now carries out this, this alarm you raise now becomes real? What happens? What happens? It is really, really sad indeed. She put all this into consideration before he, he comes into the public and make a statement. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for sitting to listen. Till I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.